you know, I was a free spirit. Had my paintbrushes and that's all I needed. And then I met Nick. I said, are you Mark Waller? I don't, I hope you are, because I've been looking for you all night. And uh, life got complicated. <laughs> My dad's like, you can't marry an artist because how are you going to live? These are like a, a gateway into another world. Beast famine. Beast famine. I have a plan. This is a plan. That is the most ludicrous thing I've ever heard. She said to me, don't come back. <laughs> if you go to New York, don't come back. I know what I'm doing. And the sad thing is that you can't see the big picture and you can't see the big picture because you don't believe I'm too busy looking after two <coughs> little beings that need me every second of the day. No gallery is selling anything for almost a year. Over it. See, there we go. I'm happy with that. The people have bought the $10,000 painting. I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I don't care. I was wrong. I was wrong. Your husband has a tumour the size of a peach inside his brain. Is he going to come out being able to speak, being able to walk, being able to paint? I'm not sure who I am anymore. Hmm. Being able to recognise his family. <laughs> I think most people would agree that marriage is hard work at the best of times. It's just sad. It's just a little crazy. <laughs> no press! No press! No, oh, it's the sex tape! Don't despair. Unless things turn around when you never think they could. Get on the roller coaster called life and you can do this or you can stick your head between your legs and miss out on most of your life.